Noel only in Sumeru. Let's do this. The rules. Only use Noel, only use Claymores, and no food. Now let's see if we can beat Sumeru only using Noel. The almighty Raiden Shogun. Before we actually start Sumeru, we need to clear the chasm, and I can comfortably say that this was very annoying. The biggest reason the chasm was such a hassle was because of all the special abyss enemies. Noel does not do much elemental damage, and when you have to take down two Hydro Abyss Heralds and an Electro Electro Shield, it can become a pretty tedious experience. Relying on this physical damage to break shields gave me flashbacks to Lisa, which is something I don't want to think about when playing as Noel. But there's one last thing between Noel and Sumeru, the AR-35 domain. We ascend our debate club and head inside of the temple. Being the absolute unit that she is, Noelle did not even go under half health. Whatever damage she took, she completely ate and asked for more. I'm sorry, I just can't help it, it's so flavorful. Then we got to Aleph. In the last Noelle video, I mentioned that because Noelle does not generate energy fast enough, she could not defeat Aleph in 8 minutes, which I still believe is true. But as the minds of Genshin YouTube informed me, I could just use the Favonius Greatsword to get some particles, which is a very fair argument, and it probably would work, but here is my rebuttal. So until I get the Favonius Greatsword, I can't really do it with Noel. After defeating Aleph, we ascended Noel to level 70 and entered Sumeru. Hey guys, I'm in New York City just hanging out. Upon starting Act 1, we come across Kale, who accidentally drops her Beyblade. But Paimon accepts this as a challenge, which means it's time to blade. Let it rip! <laughs> now then, first let's just see what kind of power you have, shall we? Since Paimon is a sore loser, she decides to commit the worst sin known to mankind, the Paimonial Wrath, which kills Kale. What's the matter? I'm hurt pretty bad. Not like this. As a result of Kale's passing, Tainari takes us to clear out the Withering Zone, and we clean out the inside of a tree. But thankfully the Hydro Abyss Herald here isn't real, so we didn't have to fight it again. But now that we're done with the rural life, it's time to move into the big city. Inside the city, we obtain our AirPods, and we try to find a good signal so we can listen to the Port Ormos soundtrack. But since we can't get any good reception, we just head over to the port itself so we can hear it in its beauty. At the port, we come across Dory, who gives us an upgrade to our Beyblade. Alhatham then agrees to be our sparring partner, and we duel. And it turns out that our upgrades did not work, which means we got Dory. <laughs> And that ends Act 1. Act 2 has us think, which makes Noelle angry, so she decides to go murder some civilians. Act 3 makes us go up to the doctor, who inform us that there is no war in Sumeru, and since there's nothing wrong here, we can just leave the city and begin our crusade into the desert. In our journey, we fight some wolves, illegal duelists, and go to an abandoned hospital. After beating some biggie churls, we hear the cries of somebody inside. Back with another mill. Hey! But in order to reach that person, we need to do the Dendro Pillars, which could actually be done with Noel, but at the time of recording, I did not know that. So I used Dendro Traveler. <laughs> Because of this oopsie, I will now count how many times I did the archery demonstration with Lisa in that 12 hour experiment. 1. 3.28 AM. I did it 566 times. Inside of the hospital, we find someone who has been traumatized after losing a Beyblade battle, which means that there might actually be a war in Sumeru. Next, we head over to the pyramid to fight some grass enemies, which is just a great experience when you're using an element that doesn't react to Dendro. But I did learn something new in this domain, which means it's time for another episode of Cool Strats with Chris. <laughs> Once you get to the elevator, you can hug this wall and activate the switch, making it to where you don't have to fight those enemies. It's very cool, and that's all for today's episode of Cool Strats with Chris. Ooh.
yes sir! With the end of the pyramid, we start Act 5 by getting ready to attack Apple Headquarters. But we need to train first, so we duel with some guys in the desert. After that brief battle, we head over to Party City to fight some Vatui agents. The main issue with this duel was the Electro Agent. With the other agents, Noel was able to take them out before they got their shield, or at the very least, do a good amount of damage to them before they got it. But the Electro Agent? Nah, they tanked us and did a lot of damage. So much so that they even took down the mighty Noel. But she got right back up and bonked it after a couple of minutes. Now we can go into Scaramouche's factory, which was a little depressing, not gonna lie. This part felt like purgatory. It takes us a while to kill these enemies because of their elemental shields, and it's hard for them to kill us because we also have a shield, and we can heal ourselves with it. It also didn't help that only one of the agents here had a shield that was easily destroyed by Geo. It was my honor to serve. Did you. she die? Why? Which brings us to Scaramouche, the master duelist. The reason why there is a war in Sumeru. Scaramouche has become the ultimate Beyblade master, and no one has been able to beat him, probably because they uh, can't touch him. Which is why we have the newest innovation of Beyblade technology, an automatic gun. I can't even say this gun made the fight easy because there was no fight without this gun. We just could not catch up to Scaramouche and our metal club couldn't hurt it. But thankfully, lead could hurt it. And now all that's left is this polluted area. And we finally get to fight more Geo enemies. Yes. Stand up now and face the sun. But there's also like eight other Electro enemies. W why? This is Sumeru, not Inazuma. After 10 hours, 30 minutes, and 23 seconds, Noel beats Sumeru, which brings her total runtime up to 35 hours, 30 minutes, and 15 seconds. Noel's journey definitely has gotten harder with the addition of Sumeru. Not by much, but it's still harder. The lack of Geo reactions really shows in this playthrough, but if you like physical damage and not dying, this is the character for you. Now we have conquered the duelist of Sumeru, which means we now get to travel to Fontaine to continue on our quest to become the very best. So tell me why.